All right, so overall, it is a really, really busy month. I, I'm just feeling that by the all the people that are coming in, all the communication that's coming through, all the work that is, you know, in your midst, okay? So it's a very, very busy month. So the, the finding the right balance between work and play is going to be a major, major um, hurdle. So that's just something to keep in mind for January. You know, hit the ground running is basically the image that I'm getting and the message that I'm getting. So you want to just take heed of this and, you know, don't procrastinate on anything and especially don't let responsibilities fall on the wayside, okay? For a lot of you, um, you might be moving house. I'm sensing here with the Four of Wands. This is a house celebration card. Usually in the upright position, it indicates some type of a housewarming celebration, a new home, a new dwelling, or some type of a stability within the domestic front. In the reverse position, it usually means people coming in and out of your life. Um, you know, it can be roommates moving out of your homes, or it can just be moving, finding a different house altogether, or making a house a home, okay? So there's definitely some type of coming and going on the home front, possibly children um, coming back for the holidays and then leaving in January. And this is going to, um, it's, it's a very destabilizing type of energy. So I definitely feel something like this is in store for you where, you know, children or people in your life are coming and going and it's, um, they might be coming to see you staying in your place for a few days and then leaving. Okay. At, at the same time, this can just be moving home okay moving from one place to the next and you're carrying all of your belongings with you so it's a very very busy energy and I, I don't feel like it's always exciting to move but you know the the work that it entails is really really tedious and taxing and I, I feel like for a lot of you the excitement is um, I feel that you're excited about it you know you're very very happy about it but at the same time, it's just, you know, the, doing the tedious work required in order to implement this move or in order to um, sustain the move or to continue the move. It's a little bit problematic for you. I feel that if you're in that situation, there is going to be people coming in to help you. So ask for help. And, you know, I honestly believe that if you want to expend the, the, the money to hire movers, to hire people that can work out the logistics for you, it can save you a lot of headache, okay? So don't um, skimp out on, you know, spending money in order to give yourself that peace of mind. It would be very good for your mental health, I feel. If you're not happy about implementing any type of move, getting the right people involved, professionals especially, it, they can you know, help you facilitate that process. Okay. And I feel like, you know, that it's just worth it at the end of the day for your mental health. I also feel that for a lot of you, um, I'm, I'm so sensing as if there might be, you know, sales of property and things like that. Okay. Sales of property, or this can even be, um, moving to a house that is a lot smaller than you're used to and you feel a little bit restrictive here with the world card, okay? There could also be, you know, putting up multiple offers on the table and then trying to find that perfect apartment, that perfect condo, that perfect um, townhouse or even, you know, any type of property coming through and then fixing up the property, so that's what I'm sensing here. Fixing up a property to sell in order for you to raise the market price and then having a lot of suitors coming through wanting to uh, make an offer for that house. So either way, you're in a very, very good financial position. I feel as well, for a lot of you, there might be a, um, I'm not sensing so much like a job offer. I feel like it's something that you've been working at for quite some time and you could land a promotion, okay? Um, if you're with a company and something, you know, like a new position open up, I feel that you're getting a proposition or some type of a proposal from your supervisor or people around you telling you that, you know, you would be the perfect candidate for this job. So if you want to do it, it's going to be in a different department where you might have to move your cubicle or you might have to move your office but either way you're getting um some type of uh, a, an improvement in your financial situation coming through as a result of your steady and stable work okay so you're definitely getting some rewards here coming in for january i also feel as well 
that the main energy that we're dealing with at the center of this spread here is the two of swords, which is, you know, the, the indecisive card. Um, this is not altogether a bad thing because I, I don't feel that it's, I don't feel like it's a negative card, but it's a situation in which we can't really make a, a decision because we don't know the whole story. We're kind of blindfolded and we're kind of holding still, hoping that the rest of the story will siphon in or at least unfold so that we have all the information at our disposal to make a well-informed decision, okay? Um, I do feel that this is going to be, it's not always a bad energy, but especially for this month, I do feel that it can be... Um, bad because we have the judgment card which indicates to me a new beginning and it's coming in for you and it, i feel like this new beginning is going to be really really fruitful for you it can come in in love as a new person so a lot of you might be transitioning from a an earth sign to an air sign or you're trying to choose between the earth sign and the air sign Go with the air sign because I do feel we, we have the six of cups here, which links up with a very karmic um, connection. Okay, so that's going to be good for you. I also feel that you, we have two knights and the knights, even though the elements are different, the knights are people that might have similar traits or tendencies. So I do feel that for a lot of you, you're kind of dealing with this and thinking to yourself, like, um, I don't know who I should go with because they, they project very similar vibes. But I do feel that innately they're very different people. Okay, so the air sign looks very favorable. I feel like the air sign, um, set, this is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The air sign might be new. The earth sign might be somebody from the past, okay? Um, so once again, a lot of you might be debating between jobs and the job that is coming in later on is going to be really fruitful for you. So take up the opportunity as they come in. Don't wait too long because this sense of uh, inertia and restriction and, you know, just feeling very stuck is... Um, it's something that is coming from you because you're not making the decision. So once you unglue yourself from your seat, I feel that life is going to start to move forward in a very quick... It's going to start to accelerate and it's going to move very, very quickly. So you really want to just make up your mind and go with it and trust that things will be okay. I don't feel you have anything to lose because you have multiple offers coming in either, you know, for that house, either for a partnership, friendship, work in general. So you're in a really good driver's seat this month. So I do feel that because of it, you want to start things off right and you don't want any mishaps. You don't want any um, surprises. But, you know, life is just about grabbing life by the horns and going with it and then fixing problems as they come up. I feel like for a lot of you... Um, especially in, you know, last year, 2015, excuse me, I feel that um, you're starting to doubt yourself. You're a very, normally a very go-lucky type of sign, and you kind of jump into things first and then ask questions later. But you know that uh, that sense of enthusiasm for life is somewhat diminished as a result of 2015, and you're approaching life in general in a more serious manner, which is a very good thing to do. However, it is um, messing up with your timing, your sense of intuitive timing. In the past, all the things that you did turn out really well, mainly because you had a very intuitive sense for good timing, okay? And right now, you're kind of doubting that, and that's why you're taking extra time off before you make a decision. You're also kind of um, delaying the whole decision-making process because you are enjoying the status quo. Now, I did mention that, you know, the planet Saturn is transiting your sign and it's bringing about a, life, a lot of life lessons. It's also bringing about a lot of changes, okay? Very, very deep-rooted, fundamental, and also fast, accelerated changes in your life. And as a result of it, you feel like you want to revert back to the status quo. You want a simpler moment in time in life when things weren't moving so fast, where, you know, things were not so destabilizing. But, you know, such is the nature of life. So it is really important for you to just um, seize the opportunities as they come in and to make the most of it because it looks very, very fruitful to me. It's just a matter of making up your mind 
and then let the rest of the um, pieces, let all the pieces in your life fall into place, and I feel that they will. For those of you who are uh, dealing with a, a situation where you are repairing, um, you know, your property, there are things in the household that needs repairs or things that you're doing where it feels a little bit tedious and um, you're hiring contractor. I do feel that um, January would not be a good month for you to take on new projects with contractors, okay? Because of the Mercury and retrograde period and especially when it comes to repairs because there's going to, it's going to bring more headache, it's going to bring a lot of confusion and it could bring in a situation where you are overpaying for somebody's services. So it would be best for you to wait either like after the whole Mercury in, uh, in retrograde transit, which is going to continue into the end of January. So wait until February would be a better time if you must absolutely do it. For example, if you must fix a roof on a house because of the rainy season and you can't really wait, hold off on it then I definitely feel that you need to do some research, okay? And you're going to, it's best to make a choice the very beginning of the month rather than waiting until the end because that's when you're going to be, um, that's when the problems, communication and things like that start to come in. I also feel this is a very good month for you in general to take some time off to yourself. I do feel that you're operating from this space of confusion, and the people around you are kind of um, giving you too much input and it's, it's creating more confusion for you. So if you want to make that important decision, go within yourself, isolate yourself from other people for a little bit and then re-examining or even thinking very deeply about what it is that you want is going to be more beneficial than getting people bouncing ideas off of other people and getting people's inputs. I feel that people around you are very well-meaning, but they're of different elements and they can't really put themselves in your shoes. So it's really important for you to make this decision on your own, okay? I also feel that you might take on somebody's counsel and then the situation doesn't end up exactly the way that you want. And there's a little bit of resentment coming through. Or you might offer your opinion. Just be very careful about not offering your opinion when it's not solicited, okay? So if someone asks you how you feel about a certain topic, then tell them. If they don't ask you and you feel very strongly about it, then don't offer your two cents because they might become defensive. Or they might take up on your offer or they might, you know, take your advice and then implement your advice. And then if things don't come out their way, then they might come back with a little bit of a verbal attack or they might get very upset. So I, I definitely feel something is in the works when it comes to a little bit of a conflictual energy with you and another person. I don't feel there uh, there is any malice associated with it because we have a very good soulmate connection card where people mean mean no harm and they do want the best for one another okay a lot of you might be hearing getting communication from children for those of you who have children you're getting communication either from children far away who are coming back to visit or there's just some type of a um, an energy that indicates to me you know you have plans for a family reunion but other people are caught up with their own life and with their own responsibilities. So this family reunion night might not ha take place, okay? It can be a wedding. It can be a housewarming party. But some type of a get-together with really good friends and very um, people who you are very emotionally tied to. But there might be some delays coming in from their end that is um, not allowing this situation to come to fruition. So that's something to keep an eye out for, but I don't feel any malice from the people that you're interacting with, okay? For those of you who are single, um, this is actually, I feel that this is a good, very good month for you to, you know, go on um, dating try to date and especially go on dates and especially you know network and mingle and things like that I feel that it's going to be beneficial for you because we have a very good card here that indicates sincerity okay this is a, a gesture of love of friendship of affection and it's done in a very 
playful manner. It's also done in a, in a spirit of exchange, in a spirit of innocence, purity. So you are approaching people who are very upfront with their feelings, who are very righteous, who have good intentions and who have a good heart. Okay. So earth sign, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, you can't really go wrong. I, I, I feel like it's a very good energy for dating. For those of you in um, stable relationships, I do sense that um, there might be a little bit of um, absence, just, you know, physical absence, emotional absence, and things like that coming from a partner, but the situation is going to get rectified by the end or the, the middle of the month, like around the 15th or so. Um, keep in mind as well, Mercury in retrograde, when you're dealing with somebody, there just might be communication problems in general. So, you know, state whatever it is that you want to say and confirm with people on dates, time, and things like that, because I do feel there is some type of a major event you know, like um, some type of a get together and timing is not clearly indicated or people assume one thing when it's in fact another and then this event doesn't get off the ground. So if it's just a date that you're thinking about and you would like the other person, confirm, you know, just confirm and just tell them that, sorry, I've been, um, I, I don't know if you got my previous message. But I just want to confirm for tonight, you know, so that you don't end up disappointed. And sometimes when you're, you know, getting to know somebody, you don't want to come across as needy or desperate or too interested. But I feel like these are just, you know, games that people play. Whatever it is that you need to say, say it. If you want to confirm a time, just so you are, just so you're sure and you don't want them to get the... Um, get the impression that you're way too interested just know that it's silly let the ego games aside when you're dealing with another person it's better to communicate clearly and you know effectively in the first place it's just a, a better way to approach things okay so that's something coming in for a lot of you and I, I just feel that you know say what you need to say and just leave it alone okay say what you need to say leave it alone and go about your merry way okay I also feel for those of you who are just single out there dating and want to know what's in store for you in terms of love, I'm going to say that this is a good month for you to socially date, okay? Don't make any plans. It is Mercury in retrograde. Don't make any life-changing decision, you know, when it comes to, like, deciding between relationship partners. Um, I do feel that that situation, when you're deciding between two people, that needs to be made. However, when it comes to, you know, long-term planning, such as I've only been seeing this person for two months, I wonder if, you know, we can take a trip together or something like that. It's best to wait until February when the Mercury retrograde transit is out of, um, it's completely out, when Mercury is out of its um, retrograde placement, okay? So that would be my advice for this month. Um, I also feel that it is a very busy month. You need some time off to yourself anyway. So, you know, take the time and you're going to be um, in a very, very good position overall. So I'm also sensing that, you know, just one last thing on the work front, and this concerns finances and work, and just, you know, the, the work environment itself. Um... It seems to me that a lot of you are getting either some type of a promotion coming through or, you know, you someone is bringing a new position on the work front and they're asking you if you're interested. So it feels to me like they're asking you this and you feel like, oh, it's a, a sure thing. You know, su such as, you know, like if, for example, a supervisor is calling you into their office and they're telling you, well, we do have this position open up. Are you interested? You want to ask clear questions, okay, such as, is this an offer or are you, are you just gauging my interest? So that can extend across all relationships, okay, but I feel like it, for a lot of you, it might come in on the work front. So this is something that you want to be very clear about when you communicate because it might just be they're seeing who is interested in that position, and they're trying to see who would be the most qualified candidate. So it's not a, a sure thing. And if you 
ask questions, you're going to realize where you stand with them. So that's something to keep in mind. And if you're going on job interviews and you're hoping to land that perfect ideal job, I do feel that, you know, there is some confusion here where you might have to, you think something is a sure thing, but then, you know, it slips through and then you might have to start from scratch. So just be very careful when it comes to communication. It's, it's sort of like, you know, some somebody's making an offer and then you head straight in, but you don't ask the important questions. So that's um, just something to... Um, for you to keep in mind so that you can prevent it from happening and playing out in real life. Because, you know, the whole point of tarot is to see what some of the potential pitfalls are so that you can protect yourself, okay? So, Sagittarius, just be very careful when it comes to communication for this month. And I definitely feel that, you know, on the romance front, things are looking very good. Make your mind, make up your mind when it comes to life in general and try to... Try not to delay decisions as if it's something heavily weighing on your mind since, you know, November, December, this is definitely a good time for you to make up your mind and not wait any longer. If it's something that is very drastic, you know, major decision when it comes to repairing the homes, hiring contractors and things like that.